and there. Place. I'd love to have enough time to explore it. I might discover some secrets of the natives' exceptional knowledge. Be respectful. We are in a sacred passage, which is for initiation and meditation. We did not come to defile this place, and we do well to hurry. The Tierna Hach Kadaktis has quite the head start. There's a chasm here. That... I need a bit of practice.
can't do that. I hope she didn't hide in this forest. Finding her here would be quite troublesome. It is an ancient and holy forest. A powerful place. There must be another egg here. We should be careful.
This fight. Why? Why? In order to capture and extract from her what we need. To examine her. Dissect her, if necessary. You have done us a great service, guiding us directly to her. Are you saying that... Even if the creature has concocted some remedial potion, it is not the song we came for, but the bird. She leads the sorcerers of this island. She knows how they transform, and from where their powers originate. Our scientists think that the remedy is there, in their pseudo-magic, and in their mutation. Thank you for bringing her to us, and ridding us of the monster. Do you think I'm going to allow you to manipulate me? I don't think anything. Apologies, Excellency. But you are going to die tragically from a stray bullet intended for the monster. Wait! Mercy, Your Excellency, I surrender. How dare you ask for mercy after attempting an assassination? After revealing your conspiracy to me, you deserve nothing less than death. I will not go down without a fight. Tiana Hach? She is unconscious. We need to bring her back to her village. She needs to be tended to. We should leave right away. Is she going to survive? Yes, she will heal. They were not shooting to kill her. And we are resistant, you know. The bond empowers us. It gives us the vigor of animals, the resilience of trees. It's undoubtedly for that reason that your alliance is so interested in us. Tiana, <laughs> 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 uh, uh, he does not mean to harm you. Please, let me... <laughs> what do you want from me, Ranaikse? <laughs> We were manipulated by the Alliance. We had no idea that they sought to capture you. We believed their fable of a miraculous remedy. We killed the man that wounded you. He will hunt you no longer. And their governor will have explaining to do. I suppose I should thank you for having pulled me from their claws and bringing me here. ...and to have crushed the life out of a few of these parasites. There is indeed a remedy. But I doubt that I can do anything against this sickness that you describe. I don't know it. And I don't see how I could create a remedy that would heal it. Perhaps you could try. We are desperate. This remedy was prepared for a precise purpose. To heal those who escaped the claws of the Alliance. These monsters capture the Sinol Menoi, 
and torture them, bleed them, put things in their veins. Those that do escape are in such agony that our care and comfort are not enough to mend them. That's why I made this remedy. Not for your Malikor. My people have never fallen prey to such sickness. How can you be so sure? Perhaps it's your tremendous resistance that protects you from the sickness. Perhaps. Enon Mil Frichtimen protects us all. Enon Mil Frichtimen? God of a thousand faces in your tongue. The one and many who protects us and our island. They and we are tied and bound, as they are tied and bound to you. Their generosity to our people is infinite, but the crimes of the Renaixi enrage it. After all, perhaps your Malikor is their vengeance. This is strange. The two tracks that we followed have led us to the same name, Enon Mil Frigdimin. The god of a thousand faces. But I don't believe he is the origin of your sickness. He protects us. He watches over us. Precisely. We know that the congregation came to this island long ago. A lot longer than we first thought. The Malachor could be a consequence of that first attempt to colonize. A curse cast at that epoch, brought back by the first defeated colonists. After all, is it not also the origin of the first guardians of the native legends? Either way, one thing is certain. If there is something or someone on this island powerful enough to heal the Malachor, it is certainly him. We need to bring this news back to Constantine. Even if we don't have a remedy yet, he'll be happy to know that we've made progress. Desarde, what can I do for you? I've settled the problem in San Mateus. Several of your men were imprisoned by the Ordo Luminous. The misguided brothers planned to attack the port. I had them arrested. They should no longer be a threat to you. The Order thought you to be heretics because of your tradition of secrecy. The secrets. They often cut both ways. Therefore, I'm going to reveal to you another. We discovered this island nearly two centuries ago. A few decades later, we sold the discovery to your nation of merchants. Then, our closest allies, we transported some lords, men and merchandise. They began to colonize the island. The lords 
revealed themselves to possess a tyrannical nature and began to exploit the lands with a deadly passion. Their actions provoked a revolt of the natives, but also the very workers and craftsmen they had brought with them. The magic of the natives of Tirfredi was awoken. Beasts came out of the woods and destroyed the new cities. Only a handful of lords and armed men were able to make it back to our ships. The losses were enormous. The humiliation, devastating. Your princes paid us well to keep their secret. They continued to make the occasional expedition. You are in fact a product of one of them. What are you saying? You must have had your doubts. You are the child of a native. You were born on one of our ships. The child of an island? But I know who my mother is and... I understand how difficult this is to hear. And I wouldn't know why your family has kept this from you all this time. In the end, we decided to sell the secret location of the island to other nations. The congregation, in spite of its fears, could not keep away. And here you are again. I am sorry for the shock I have caused you. You asked me for the truth, and now you have it. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. I can't believe it. That for all this time, I've been fed lies. The constant in no. I must... I must go and see him. I understand you may be sad because you were lied to. But do not be sad about who you are. We are a proud people. And I am glad to know that you are one of us. Cousin, you couldn't pick a better time. I've been taken with jitters like a cat on a midday roof. <laughs> what are you waiting for with such anticipation? I took your advice, you see. I've summoned one of these crows! He has been examining me for nearly an hour. I just barely escaped a purge. But I was given the mandatory bleeding. I so hate their little knives. And so then, our venerable doctor, what is the verdict? Black. <sighs> Constantine, is this your blood? Constantine, answer me. Constantine, stay with me. Constantine, there is a chance that he is in error. It might be something else. I'm going to die. No, no, Constantine. I will die, like your mother and the others on the continent. I I'm dying! I don't want to die. I don't. Not, not, not so soon. It's so good. Cousin, I... I don't want... Constantine, I'm here. Pull yourself together. Out! Everyone out! It's in order! Thank you, cousin. There now. Are you better? I don't know. You won't leave me, will you? I'm going to find a cure, I promise you. Didn't you promise the same thing to your mother? You know I'll be dead before you find one. Don't say that. I will succeed. I've already some promising trails to explore. I don't know, cousin. The tidings are so awfully dire. I'm afraid. I'm so afraid. I doubt the reason for your visit was to console me in my tragedy. 
Tell me, what brings you here? It can wait. It's nothing that can't be dealt with later. But please, please, whatever it is, it will take my mind elsewhere. I was able to get the whole story out of the Admiral in exchange for a service. As our investigation was leading us to imagine, the Congregation did once attempt to colonize the island. The Norts discovered it some two centuries ago and brought our people here a few decades later. But the enterprise to colonize the island failed completely. There were a great many bloody battles. Few colonists survived. The princes preferred to hide their defeat and paid the Norts to keep the secret. That they hid the fiasco from the world, I get. But that my father said nothing about it to me. That's not the most shocking part of the story, believe me. What do you mean? The congregation continued to make expeditions to the island with the help of the Norts. According to the Admiral, my mother came from the island and was brought back. I was born on one of their ships. What? But... That means you are not your dear cousin? No. All the lies we've been fed since our tender childhood. The fable told that I'm the spitting image of my dead father lost during an expedition. God, I... I don't know what to think, Constantine. Why did they do that to me? I don't know. It's another one of their sly and dark orchestrations. Some vile intrigue. If it is of some comfort, no matter the true story, you will always be my dear cousin. You have always been the only one to care for me. You are my only friend. That's all that matters to me. Keep this discovery between us. No one needs to know. My aunt adopted you after all. Bring in the others. Let us speak of different concerns. That's enough bad news for one day. Kurt, what is... What's going on? Is there something wrong? Coin guards! The time has come. But... What is this? Ready arms. Kurt, what are you doing? Aim! Stop that, soldiers! Lower your weapons, now! Sorry, Greenblood. Fight with honor. On guard. I said draw! Why did you betray us? Our commander figured out that we could easily take control of this island. You rely so heavily on our protection. You are so dependent, <laughs> so naive. All the governors will suffer the same attacks if they haven't already. Your problems are far from over, Greenblood. The commander is there on the docks with all his lieutenants. I failed, but they will certainly succeed. Here, or elsewhere on the island. <laughs> Not every governor has a cousin that I train personally for combat. It's over. You are defeated. <laughs> ah! You have no honor. I agree with you. But I did train you well. At least there's that. The student surpasses the master, and you cannot bear it. You are wrong. I am proud of you. Truly.
Thank you. You saved us all. The nerve of them. What else was there to expect from employing coin-fed mercenaries? All that liberty, so close to power, it went to their heads. It would have happened sooner or later. They could have been preparing this sort of coup for years. Without wanting to rush you, bantering about the dangers of according one's trust to a sellsword is appropriate, but... You're right. It's time for action. We need to get you somewhere safe, Constantine. Those are my advisors that you must protect. Me? I want to... To join in. Look at your condition. It's out of the question. We are taking you somewhere safe. As you've left me no choice. There is a hiding place in the cellar. We will take care of your advisors after that. And we should make these conga eels pay for their treachery. And attempt to stop the coups in other cities. Then we have no time to lose. Let us be gone. The soldiers who are escorting Kurt are sure to come back. Let's be vigilant on our way to the cellar. Stay behind us, Constantine. You're in no condition to fight. We must hurry before the guard can act. We've reached the cellar. It looks like a good place to hide. Constantine, promise me that you will stay here until we secure the city. Do I even have a choice? Here I am, consigned to my quarters like some broken old maid. Like someone ill 
Constantine. Someone sick who is dear to me, and the city wouldn't survive your loss. You have such a way with words. Very well. I promise to stay here, obediently awaiting your return. Let's go then. And cousin? Watch out for yourself. You were dear to me as well. De Sade, you've come at a serendipitous moment. I thought my hour had come. What's happening? A coup d'etat, Professor. The coin guard tried to assassinate my cousin and is plotting the same actions against the other governors. So, they have finally done it. Such proximity to power is a terrible temptation. It was only a question of time before they succumbed. We should have paid more attention to your lessons. We might have been able to avoid all of this. Follow me. I'm taking you somewhere safe. I'm coming. key.
Then of course I'm my day. And let's go! Poison on my blade. And let's go! Lord Minister! Ah, oh, friendly faces finally. What a relief. I was in this room when I heard sounds of battle. Fearing for my life, I hid myself in here. But what is going on? What madness has befallen the palace? It's a coup d'etat. The coin guard wants to take control of the island by assassinating all its governors. The guard is everywhere. They could succeed. We will do everything in our power to thwart them. Come now. We'll take you somewhere safe. I'll follow you. You are safe here. Oh, you have my eternal gratitude, Excellency. We owe you our lives. You will be safe here.
Lady Morange, make ready to depart. We cannot remain here. But what is going on? The coin guard has decided to take control of the isle. They plan to overthrow the governors. They were set on assassinating Constantine and his entire entourage. The idiots! You are in danger. Do you know a safe place where we could take you? Don't worry about me. I have friends here. They will hide me. Go! And do be careful. If I remember correctly, Torsten's quarters are in the right wing. Going in through the front door would be dangerous. The noise of the battle could make him go away. You're not wrong. If we're to stop him, we'd better be discreet. I believe there's a passage leading to the barracks in the tavern. We could use it to our advantage. We could also climb up the left wing scaffolding. We'd reach the upper floor directly. Oh. It's a great pleasure to see you again at the fort. The best forge in tier for a day! if you want to cast more spells. No one. I hoped he would be here. It's not over yet. We're bound to find some information regarding his plans in these papers.
infiltrate out a contingency plan. He must be boarding a ship to another city as we speak. The Admiral certainly can't be aware of his plotting. She would never stop it. I thought as much. What are you doing here? Who let you in? I demand an explanation. It seems that your men are a little distracted this evening, Lieutenant. It is understandable, with all that's been going on. You are under arrest, as well as your commander. But... what is this? Soldiers, ready weapons! Put it on my blade! Then let's go! Watch out! I should probably have taken more heed of him. He was my master and my friend. And I did not listen. What a waste. Excellency, I know you've paid your entry fee, but this is a special night. My orders are not to let anyone in. What if I paid you a supplement for your good services? Very well, you can come in. I hope I won't be in trouble. I regret, my lord, we are closed this evening. Come back another day. Well, I'm not here to tempt my luck. Are you in charge? That's right. What do you want from me? From you? Psst, nothing. We are here to arrest the commander's lieutenants. Is that right? Now, this ought to be good. And for what crime would that be? You know very well. For high treason. Oh, and you think that my men are just gonna let you without so much as blinking an eye? Whether they move or not, it matters little. I must admit, you're not short of courage. Weapons! Gonna poison on my brain. <laughs> 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 I heard some ruckus out here. Soldiers, ready weapons. We are under attack. A bit of poison on my head. Let's go. Let's see if you can ward off this face. Stop. The person we were here for has been brought into submission. What did you want with Lieutenant Olga? To arrest her. She's made some unfortunate decisions. You are not obliged to do the same. Very well. We are dropping our weapons, soldiers. That dog's eye doesn't deserve our sacrifice.
late. The coward has escaped. It's not over. We need to warn our allies. Hikmet should be our priority. If she falls into the hands of the coin god, we'll lose years of research in our hunt for a remedy. But I have faith in your pragmatic spirit. You will make the right choice. One thing is certain, we cannot save them both. You will need to make a choice between the two. We cannot take the risk of losing a potential cure. We shall go to Hikmet. No one may enter. I regret that I must insist. You asked for it. Put the poison on my brain. And let's go! Grenade! Take a potion if you want to cast more spells. Closer. Your Excellency, it's... I'm sorry, Your Excellency. The palace is closed until further notice. I am truly at a loss as to... What's going on here? I am the governor's chambermaid. Or was. 
They just told me that they are no longer in need of my services. And it's not just me. No, they sent everyone packing. I have no idea what is going on here. But I don't intend to stand by and let it happen. Come now, cease this foolish bantering. You know who I am, don't you? Yes, of course. You're one of the scholars close to His Excellency. That's right. Then you know that you can trust me. The palace is under attack. The coin guard has betrayed us. The life of the governor is in extreme danger. We need to enter in order to stop them. You must have a key to the service entrance. But... Of course I do. Well, give it to us. We don't have a moment to spare. I... Of course. Here you are. And well, good luck. I can't do that. We're inside the palace. We must find Burren at all costs before these brutes kill him. Your men have died in vain. You have no other solutions. Governor, give yourself up. Governor? Given the amount of respect I've been accorded, I doubt that I still merit the title in your eyes. Kill him! A bit of poison on my head. And let's go! The Lord of this fate! The Lord of this fate! Take a potion if you want to. Thank you infinitely for your help. Come closer. We need to speak with each other. You made it in time to save me, but I am afraid that the palace is still infested with traitors. For as long as they are there, our position remains uncertain. Please, make sure they can do no harm. And if you are able, secure our laboratory. Our research is valuable and at a critical stage. They will only think to destroy it without realizing how important the research is. I will do my best. Stay behind closed doors until the palace has been made safe.
that was the last. The palace is liberated. is teeming with traitors. We must get inside without being seen. Otherwise they could destroy all of our research. On my blade.
gate. These brutes have destroyed everything. Oh, the monsters. How could they destroy our only chance to find a cure for the Malachor? You may recover possession of your palace, Governor. The coin guard is vanquished. I thank you infinitely, Excellency. You have paid us an immense service. I just learned that the traitors in the city have also been killed, vanquished by their own brothers in arms, the ones who refused to be a part of this abject infamy and remained loyal. And I was also told that the coin guard took San Mateus. The mother cardinal managed to escape. I shall not cry over the plight of Telemi, but I regret that treacherous commander partially succeeded in his coup. In the end, thanks to you, we are safe and of sound body. I shall not forget the services you have rendered, Excellency. Would you please convey to your cousin the sincerest thanks of his most devout ally? I shall not forget, Excellency. Goodbye.